to do my duty, to always obey the laws of the werewolf pack, and to never last until Brucey lives once more and, and takes his rightful place in the annals of the distinguished monsters. monsters. And I can once again return to my most glorious of homelands, Transylvania. Glory, glory, Transylvania, werewolves and... Oh, I forget the time. I was the youngest of five boys from a vaudevillian father, and it kind of rubbed off with all the fellows, every musician, singers, actors, and uh, I wanted to be a lawyer, actually, and it was later in the game. I was about 19 and uh, going to school, and uh, I got a call from a, a buddy of one of my brothers who was a group singer, and he said, I'm forming a quartet. What do you think? I said, yeah, sure, why not? Time for you know what? Grammar Slammer Bammer. I remember thinking at the time, when he was doing Sonny and Cher, I thought, this is great. Billy is going to take off because Billy's the kind of guy who really deserved to take off in a big way. A lot of Canadians have done it since. In my mind, there is no reason why Billy Van couldn't have become one of the legends of, say, Saturday Night Live with then a movie career and everything else. He's got talent to spare. He was the show, really. Billy was really the show. Did it. Did it. What does it sound like to you? Sounds like a frog to me, master. You're absolutely wrong, Igor. It sounds more like a frog to me. He made up a lot of stuff. The guy was a great ad-libber. Like, uh, as far as I know, we didn't really have a formal script. We basically had a concept, and he would go with it. So a lot of the stuff that's on there is just, it's just him. It's just him doing his thing. Yeah, I is, Master. What got you? Well, Master, I was downstairs cleaning up and sweeping up the dungeons. Well, I don't want you to do that. I have other plans for you. Yes, Master. Now, if I can only remember what they were. Let me think. Think, think, think. Think. I've got it. Of course, I know what I wanted you to do. I want you to phone the Weather Bureau and find out what the weather forecast is. Yes, Master. Be quick about it, big fellow. To begin with, it was about 30% scripted. And as we went on, start talking 10, 5%. But the entire show, and I thought this was the genius of the show, was that there was no show, there were a bunch of parts. You would go into the studio that day and do as many of that segment as you could do. So Billy and Fishka would go into the studio one day or for a number of days and do nothing but openings or nothing but closings or nothing but, you know, um, Griselda cooking sketches. Hi there! 
Now, we really got a special one for you today. And we call it a Roger and Rhonda Roddy's a rental room rip snortin' root and tootin' ratontosaurus recipe. <laughs> and it's called Grand Ganges Slop Crumpets with lava oil topping. Mmm, sounds scrumptious. And the ever increasing Walt. You had to have Walt with all things. Because the crew would make up all these things. They'd make the most ridiculous things. I think they were half out of their bird, you know. And I'd just look around and find something, read it, and use it. I didn't know what the hell was in there. these things without Amazon Pilgrim ants? <laughs> Ooh, an abundance of them. The best time I had on the show was doing skits with Billy as the Count with Gronk. Uh, because, again, there was a script, but both of us would just go almost anywhere with that. I mean, to the point where we would... A few times we did break each other up and we'd have to stop. Down the mountain. Down the mountain. Sure. I wonder how they got the boats up there. No. No, they don't get boats up there to come down mountains. They're they on the water. They go and we don't have the water up in the mountains. <laughs> The original masks that he wore were one-piece latex masks. 